constant head for early years. I look after uh, the children from our babies up to the end of year one. And this is our pod. So in here we have a daycare and we have a nursery. So let's go and have a look. And in here we have it set up uh, for the children to access and work independently and to develop their independence. So we're in our role play area at the moment. So this is our home corner. And we try to put things in here that the children might see at home. So you can see a lampshade up here. And we quite often, there aren't children in here today, but we quite often have things that we might, so real food, real bowls, this. So it, it links with home. The home corner is probably one of the most important areas in our nursery and in early years, because that's where children develop their language. Um, and they get to practice out and role play the things that they do at home. So it's really important. We've got lots of different areas set up. And this mirrors the rest of our early years. So we've got a block area, we've got interest, and see we can do some builders here over the last week. Um, we've got some nice blocks. And the area is set up so that children can challenge themselves. So because we do have children in here, so we work in a family. We have key groups with children in our younger daycare, but we also have our nursery children, which is three plus. During the day, the children interact with each other, um, COVID safe, in both rooms. So, but we also have a baby room. So we have this area set up, but it's also a sleep room as well. So obviously there's, there's um, things in here, resources for the babies to use and the children can come in and have a sleep a day because we still have a few children that come in and sleep. So in our outdoor area, we have lots of different levels out here. So it encourages that gross motor, children can go up and down the tunnel, in the tunnel. We've got our willow tunnel here as well. We have bikes out here. We also have a mud kitchen out here. We have a lovely area for storytelling and the children quite often like to come out and have a story. And sometimes they like to be the teacher and read the story to the children as well. And that's just down here. We always have things like big blocks out here because the play is a little bit different outside to inside. And we try to reflect that and also put children's interest in here. So if we see that children particularly like playing with the dinosaurs or the cars, we'll bring those out, we'll make some ramps and lots of different activities that we have out here. So we've got some big construction as well and the children love to make dens and things and we have fabrics and things like that as well.